in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 29, that it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created the creatures in the heavens and the earth and has placed creatures in them. So Quran says there is life beside this earth. Today science hasn't proved there is life beside this earth. Scientists say there are high possibilities that life will be there beside this earth. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us and show us that nobody can challenge the Quran? Look at the list here in the page, astronomy. The Quran speak about astronomy, the Quran speak about the sunset. But I'm not going to make any statement now. Choose an, any topic of astronomy in the Quran so we can laugh. The sun, moon and earth, geology, end of the universe, human biology, historical, philosophy, philosophy, hmm. plants and animals, human being, I mean, what is left? All of those in the Quran. So who is a Muslim he want to take a challenge to prove me wrong? I say that every single one of those is a joke. Every single one of those claim is actually the opposite. It's proving that Islam is a false cult. You will notice that all those who can refute me, they don't call me. Did you notice that? And they will not even allow me to call them. For sure, the only one who called me is the guy from Nigeria. What's his name? This crazy guy. He can explain the Quran by himself. He don't accept Muhammad explain the Quran. He don't accept scholars. He don't accept hadith. He has his own religion. Ah, but this this guy is, a, is an idiot. All those who can refute me, they don't call me and don't, don't let me call them. The question why? I mean, isn't it a great opportunity to talk to someone he claimed that Islam is a joke and you destroy his claim? Isn't it a great opportunity to show them life on air that this guy is not sharing the truth? So how come they are so good as they claim? You know, most of them he's making a video exposing Christian Prince. You know, you see, the, the funny about my, uh, my videos, uh, even some videos make, made by Christians, like this guy destroyed this guy, and this guy he destroyed that guy, and this guy, I and mean, this is very silly. Yeah, hold on, you know, don't, you're not destroying me. And I'm not destroying you. The challenge here is about your book. It's not about me and you. So because they are silly, they make it personal. This is why they make fun of the person, etc. Who, who care about you? Who care about me? I'm not a prophet. You can say whatever you want about me. The question is, can Muhammad and the Quran and Islam stand? Little questions. In the front of me, there's an article. And the title, as you see, the Quran, the title of the website, Quran and Challengeable Miracle. The Muslim, they follow Zakir Naik or they follow Muhammad. So the question why Zakir Naik he says something and Muhammad he says something else. Creation in three is darkness. Okay, this is in the Quran, brother. Okay. Creation in three darkness. Okay, what is that? Let us see. It is he who created you in the womb of your mother in stages. One after other in three darkness. And here we go, the three darkness. The Muslim, they found a solution for this, brother. This is the first darkness. This is the second darkness. And this is the third darkness. Is that what your prophet said, really? Is that what the Quran is saying? Just to show you how easy to get them busted with their lies. The first question you ask yourself, who understand what the Quran is saying better? Abdul in YouTube or the Prophet of Islam? Any Muslim can help us? Who can understand what this verse mean? Abdul in YouTube 
or the Prophet of Allah. Any Muslim can help us? Because, you know, we are not sure anymore that Muslim, they follow who? The Muslim, they follow Zakir Naik or they follow Muhammad. So the question why Zakir Naik, he says something and Muhammad, he says something else. So if we try to investigate this verse, and you will notice, by the way, that the Muslim, when they quote a verse, always you will notice this. There's a three dots. Why? Okay, why you put the three dots? Why? Why you don't uh, quote the whole verse for us? What is the secret? And then there's three dots after the quotes. That's it. Because this is the only point he want. He don't want you to show. He don't want to show you the stupidity. The rest of the stupidity. He, he wanna play with this. Okay, uh, three darkness. Here we go. We have three darkness for you. Okay. And now we go here. And this is the abdominal wall and the uterine wall. And this is the amun. Uh, I don't know. You have to read them. To be honest with you. But if you go and you see how Muhammad explained the verse, or even the scholars of Islam, you will see none of them, he say what they are saying. Let us go to the hadith. And then we will see if the Muslim is saying the truth or not. The three stages the Muhammad and they are saying is a fraud. This is the three stages in the Quran. Read carefully. The messenger of Allah, the truthful, the receiver of the truth. Look, look at all of this. All of this happened to Muhammad. I mean, he is the receiver. I mean, come on, everybody needs a receiver. Even if you have an internet, you need a modem. This is a receiver. You need. A, you have satellite. You need a receiver. Muhammad is the receiver. He receive what? He receive the truth. Let us see the truth. Uh, he informed us saying the creation of a human is gathered in the form of semen in the uh, in the womb of the, your mother for 40 days this is the first darkness <laughs> let us go to the website of the muslims back just to compare between what muhammad is saying huh? you see you see the stupidity they fabricate this is why Islam is invalid, the most stupid cult. They think by lying and fabricate meaning is not there, people will believe it. Well, why Allah don't say those three stages? Like, name them as they are. Why Allah, he said three darkness? What the three darkness? And by the way, even the word darkness is not, you know, I mean, I mean, if you want to take it correctly, there's no absolute darkness inside the human being. This is why X-ray can go through the body, which means always there is a ray going through your body. Are, are you listening? So the word darkness is, in, is kind of, you know, if one take it in a scientific way, it's not really true. However, how the Muslim they come to this conclusion that this verse is speaking about those three things when their prophet saying something totally the opposite. Let us close some pages. Too many hadith in my screen. So, the first lie Muhammad he said, which is proving that Muhammad is a fraud, that you are gathered in the form of a semen for 40 days in your mother belly. You see here it says the word womb. In Arabic it says, fi batni ummihi. Batn means the belly. Usually we use it for stomach too, but it can be just uh, uh, the whole belly, you know. Any Muslim? See how easy to conquer the lies. See how easy to expose the stupidity. I mean, why? why, why? And uh, okay, what is the second darkness for stages? And then he became a clinging thing for the same period. And then he became a lump of a flesh. That's it. This is how the human being created. Well, according to science, human the semen cannot live more than five days. 
Secondly, what do you mean we are gathered in the form of a semen? How many semen a human being is? According to science, it's one will fertilize the egg. Because look what happened to you by following the Satan Muhammad. Not only you are following a false prophet, which is proven to you in your own translation, in your own website, in your own prophet words. In the top of that, you fabricate miracles in order to fool others, which means you now became officially a certified false prophet too. Because you are lying to people about what the Quran is saying. While your prophet is saying something, you claim something else. All of this for the purpose of what? To deceive. Otherwise, you tell me why you are lying. Give me one reason why they are saying what they are saying on the screen. Why they are not quoting what their prophet is saying. To explain what the Quran is saying. How suddenly Muhammad's statement is not the one can explain the Quran. It is Ab Abdul. Any Abdul. When I say stupidity is amazing, I, I have many reasons to say that. The funny, there is a Muslim in the, in the, in the comment section in previous videos, you know, he, uh, he said, uh, Christianity is a joke. Okay, why, my friend, Christianity is a joke? You who are saying that Jesus, he can resurrect people from death. Do you know what Christianity mean? Do you know what Christianity mean? You don't know. The second you say Christianity is a joke, you are making fun of Christ. Because this is his name. Secondly, let us see who is the joke. Is that a joke in front of you or not? Suddenly Muhammad became Dr. Muhammad and he knew how you are created. And now he make for you a statement that you are created in three darkness. The first darkness, you are gathered in the form of a semen for 40 days. What else? What about? Look here, Muhammad is not sure from the numbers, so he have to be honest with you. Like, there is an uh, error margin. The prophet said, when a drop of semen, drop of semen, drop of semen, no problem. Remain in the womb for 40 or 45 nights. Look, Muhammad, how honest he is, my brother. 40, 45, depend on Airbnb, you know, maybe they are like not available for rent for 40, you know, they're, they're like, you have to take it 45, you know, they will say, we're not renting 40, you have to rent 35. 40, 45, like what? Is that an authentic hadith? Yes, this is Sahih Muslim. So why you don't quote your prophet saying those statement? Is that because your prophet statement is embarrassment to you? You are trying to make Islam scientifically, you know, fit, but Islam is an fit for anything i mean this guy is an idiot talking somebody shut him up somebody turn off his microphone because the more he talk the more he make islam look like a joke is that your prophet explaining the three darkness and how the baby is created or we cannot count muhammad explanation because he's an idiot Why you Muslims are making your own fabrication, interpretation for the Quran? When you're a prophet, he explained those things hundreds, if not thousands of times. Right? Uh, we have a Muslim here. You know, the funny that Muslim, they, they use uh, uh, Christian names. But it's okay. I mean, they are, they are following a fake prophet, so they claim to be, they use the Christian names because they are fake, like their prophet. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us and show us that nobody can challenge the Quran? 
they are Zakir Naik. Well, how come the Muslims, each time uh, science discovers something, the Muslims, they discover it in the Quran, which means why you don't discover it before they discover it? Zakir Naik, he have an answer. For sure, Zakir Naik have an answer. So why? Why you Muslim don't discover things unless it's discovered already? I mean, why you don't? Why the Quran don't say it before somebody else say it? How come you don't notice that this is what it is until science uh, discover it, as you claim? You know, Quran says the verse he is saying, is quoting, doesn't say there's a life beside this earth. He's saying there's dabba, dabba. Dabba is an animal. This is the chapter he is quoting. Read with me carefully. Did you see anywhere it says there is side beside the there is a life beside the earth? No. It says among his sign is the creation of the heaven and the earth. And all living beings he dispersed through both. Where is where is, is don't you must believe? that Allah he have their angels don't you Muslim believe that Allah he sent his donkey al Buraq to Muhammad from the sky don't you Muslim believe that Allah have a dog so this is the life beside the earth that God have a donkey in heaven and he have a dog in heaven this is what scientists are searching for Isn't it Muhammad, he said to his cousin in the chapter of an najm why you don't believe in the God of the Najm, which means the star? He said, I don't believe in the God of the star. So Allah, he sent his dog to eat him. Who want to challenge me to prove that to be what Muhammad said? So here, the guy, he asking him, how come you cannot find something you know, to be discovered before the scientists discovered, and most of them they are either Christians or Jews or even Hindus, whatever. How come the science of Islam suddenly disappear after science appear? So Zakir Naik here is giving you like a, a game. Okay, you know the Quran says there's other creatures, but this is this is stupid, silly, because the Quran tell us already, and Muhammad told us what are they, those creatures. Here you see how easy to debunk, I don't want to use even the word debunk, I mean this is silly, what debunk? To show them how stupid on their claim and how false their claim is. And actually I just received Quran and science in Albanian. <coughs> language so soon we will publish it that's mean we have deception of Allah in Albanian and Quran and science in Albanian very very wonderful I want to say special thanks for those who they are translating the books and they are doing that for free you know those are special people I don't know them you didn't know me I don't even know their names and I don't want to know their names it is the Lord who knows their names because of their work, hundreds of millions, they will receive those books for free. And nobody can stop those books from flying around. Albania, soon we will publish the book to, you know, in Persian. Uh, somebody, you know, working in the Chinese uh, uh, translation. Uh, we need somebody to do Korean. I don't know if somebody can volunteer, but it doesn't look like it. Korean people are busy. But it's wonderful. What is the verse in the Quran that says you can eat in your house and if you're uh, uh, and your parents? Let us finish this and then we can go. I mean, this is not important now, you know, verse in the Quran. I mean, how even we can call such a thing a verse? You see, the Muslims, when they make the Quran, did Muhammad give them verses? No. <laughs> So where this is verse coming from? Even that word is not Islamic. This is coming from the Bible. 
Everything they have is a theft. There's a chapter in the Quran. Did, Muhammad, did Allah give Muhammad a chapter like those we see now? No. Did he even give them like, like a whole thing by, you know, like the whole thing like this, you see it here? No. All right. We are waiting for any Muslim to confirm to us that we are wrong. You see, if Muhammad was lying in one thing, he is a liar in the rest. So if a Muslim, he is going to be honest for a second, and that is very hard to find. Otherwise, he have to leave Islam. And then he see what his prophet said. And this is, as you see, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is Sahih Muslim, which means the most authentic books. And this is what Muhammad said. This is how the baby is created. Isn't it this is alone is enough for anyone who is seeking the truth to know that Muhammad is a fraud? Not only, you know, it's, it's, it's not what science is making Muhammad fraud, but this is like a basic knowledge these days. This is not even science. You know, the word the science is very flexible, you know, like if science is the knowledge, then all of us we are scientists because we have certain knowledge, correct? If if science is uh, the let us say the method to find out, what well, all of us we have method to find out about things you know, in life. However, when 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 things come to a very simple fact, everybody knows. That is not even science anymore. This is something everybody, this is knowledge for everybody. The man sleep with the women, they have a baby. This is a knowledge since the beginning of time. They do not need to be scientists, but in somehow this is part of the science. But Muhammad, he take knowledge to a different level. He claimed that he is the one who knows and nobody else knows. So he's providing to us knowledge which nobody have. This is not an average supposedly information this is a high quality information this is why they are saying to you that he is the receiver of the truth he receive it from who receive it from allah this is why they are saying sallallahu alayhi wasallam allah pray on him and salute him muhammad is greater than allah to the point the god of muhammad he prays muhammad and he salute muhammad and he pray on muhammad and now the great muhammad he is telling us information which nobody knows and now you need to ask yourself, why the Muslims, when they explain that verse about three stages of darkness or how the baby is created, don't use this to prove their statement? Why none of them use it? I mean, who is the best to know what the Quran is saying except Muhammad? Why do they want to use it? Right? Any Muslim can explain to us why you don't want to use your prophet explanation for the Quran? What is the problem exactly? Do you think he is any qualified? Do you think he is dumb? He's silly, he's stupid. Do you think that Zakir Naik he knew what the verses mean? Or somebody, the one who made those articles, he knew better than Muhammad? Obviously you do. Otherwise, your prophet, he explained it. How it's made from blood clot. Yeah, the Quran says that, you know, the, you know, in the, it's actually, it says in front of you, you see. And the funny, according to Muhammad, every, every darkness period is 40 days. So the total of a human being creation is, is 120 days. And by the way, this is the contradiction for his in the Quran because in some hadith he make it four stages, in some hadith he make it three stages. So if you read here carefully, it says that you will, you will be gathered in the form of a semen in your mother Billy for 40 days. And then it became a clinging, which means clinging blood, 
for a similar period. This is another 40 days. And then he become a lump of a flesh for a similar period. Okay, what is the total? 40 plus 40 plus 40, 120 days. That's science. And you became a clinging thing, which is a congeal the blood. You see here the translator, he said clinging thing, but this is not correct translation. If I copy the same hadith, hmm, I will copy three words and I will take it to the search engine in the Abdul website. This is the science of Muhammad. Do you see it? Like this one is showing us too many hadith have nothing to do with our topic. Hold on, let us see. Who is a person can oppose the science of the Prophet of Allah? Any Muslim. In fact, all of them they oppose it. And the proof of that, none of not even a single Muslim website is speaking about the biology according to the Quran, use the interpretation or the explanation of their prophet to explain the verses. You know what I mean? If they are not against what Muhammad is saying, if they are truly believers in what Muhammad he brought to them, which is the Quran, then they should take what Muhammad said to them about the Quran. But they don't do that. They make their own article and they fabricate their own interpretation. And they hide all the statement of Muhammad because it is embarrassment. Any Muslim? Any Abdul? You notice this is the same hadith, but the translation here is different. Look here, it's more clear that this is a congealed dead blood. Then he become a clot of thick blood. Do you see it? In the previous translation, they tried to avoid using that word because this is again an embarrassment. Reply to self uh, in YouTube. What does that mean? We do not need to reply to anyone unless he contact us. Did he contact me? Here we go. My Skype is open. Don't come here and tell me reply to this guy and to this guy. All of them are kids. And they prove that they are men or enough to be considered men to call me.